Hi there. This is uh, one of three short videos I'm going to uh, put together to demonstrate some of the uh, guitar work of the great Texas songwriter James McMurtry. Um, he has used a variety of guitar tunings and approaches over the years. I spent a long time not knowing how to play uh, hardly any of his great stuff and um, having learned a lot over the past uh, months of the pandemic with his streams. Uh, I'm hoping to pass some of that along to any, anyone else who wants to learn his stuff the way I did. So I'm not going to be playing uh, entire songs here. Uh, just to, These are very short, just to, some short samples to show you where things are uh, and uh, hopefully gets you started on, on exploring these things for yourself. Uh, I'll put a link to some of the performances of some of the tunes that I'm uh, using in the description to each one of these and uh, some other notes about uh, songs that he plays with the various tunings. So let's check it out. Well, in uh, this video, uh, we're in natural tuning. But I'm going to focus on a particular set of chord changes that James uses a lot in a lot of his songs. And uh, what's really amazing is he uses this same set of changes over and over and over again, yet they are completely distinctive songs, which is a testament to what the man can do with his flat pick. And that's an entirely separate subject, which I'm not, not going to touch today. Uh, but what we have to do when we're playing this set of changes for all these James songs is learn how to anchor uh, our two fingers right here on the B and D string, third fret. And if you know this already, that's great. You know, for a lot of folks, this is not uh, the obvious way to go. But then you learn to do the G and the C just by changing back and forth here. Not, that's not too hard. What's a little more challenging is the way he pulls the D chord in this sequence is to switch his fingers around, have the first finger on the second fret here, second finger, second fret there, and again, leave these two uh, uh, fingers anchored all day long. Carlos. Other things he does here uh, in this uh, uh, set of chords changes. Uh, South Dakota is is this way. Uh, Rachel's song comes out with this. get grooves and calluses on these fingers it, it'll hurt after a while um, that's okay that's what we do we play until it hurts and then we stop for a while and then we play again until it hurts uh, other things he does here he'll very often uh, capo up as we've seen and uh, for example hurricane party actually uh, Ruby and Carlos is usually here but hurricane party uh, uh, Lights of Cheyenne, uh, and there's a link to my version of Lights of Cheyenne below. Actually, he does that in the first position, but it's the same chords. Just got to learn to do them in different patterns and different rhythms with your right hand. Not easy. I'm not there yet, that's for sure. Um, but when you get into one of those grooves with what he's doing with his right hand, just, just do it for a while, and after a while, your muscle memory will kick in. So those are those uh, changes. I hope you uh, get something out of these, and... Um, Play on.